Hey there, welcome to Wholesome Roots. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make your own homemade cream of mushroom soup that's not from a can. It's gonna be fresh and there won't be all those preservatives and all that other stuff in there. And it's gonna be much, much better. You can use it on its own as a, a nice soup or you can use it to accompany a dish or top a dish or whatever you want. So check it out. For cream of mushroom soup, you're gonna need mushrooms. You can use store-bought mushrooms that are fresh. You can use dehydrated mushrooms after you've reconstituted them. You can even use foraged mushrooms if you know how to properly identify them for consumption. Then you'll need onion, you need fresh chopped garlic, you need butter, You're going to need stock or broth, either one, and finally seasonings and spices of your choice. And you need cream, but you can also use milk if you don't have cream. Now for the fun part where we begin cooking. First, you're going to take four tablespoons, which is a half stick of butter. Take your butter and melt it on medium heat. Next, you're going to take your chopped one small onion and add it to your melted butter. Stir it up and let it saute for just a couple minutes until it begins to soften. Next, take your chopped garlic. I think I use six cloves of garlic. Use as much garlic as you're comfortable with. We really like garlic in our house. Add it to the sauteed onions and butter. And careful, garlic burns fast, so you want to stir it in quickly. Let it get mixed in with your onions for just about a minute. Next, you're going to add your mushrooms. I used a, a pound of mushrooms. This is a mix of shiitake and blue oyster mushroom. Use the mushrooms of your choice. Stir them in and let them soak up all that butter. Then you're going to cook your mushrooms for about two or three minutes. So your mushrooms have been cooking for about two to three minutes. Now's the time where you want to add your six tablespoons of flour. Stir that in until it is soaked up by all the mel melted butter. All right, now that your flour has been soaked up by all the melted butter and your mushroom and onion and garlic mix, now you're going to add your broth or stock. I'm using two cups of stock. You can use vegetable stock, you can use beef stock, chicken stock, whatever you like, or broth if you like, whatever suits your taste. It's totally up to you. You're going to stir this in, get everything mixed up very well, and then you're going to bring it up to a boil. It's going to start to thicken up. Just pay attention and you'll see when it starts to bubble. You can reduce the heat a little bit lower and add your seasonings and spices. I'm using parsley and thyme in our house seasoning mix. Salt, pepper, garlic. All right, now that's fully mixed in, you're going to add in your cream. So if you have heavy cream, use one cup of heavy cream. If you don't have heavy cream, you can use half and half. If you don't have half and half, use whole milk. You can keep on going down the milk um, chain as far as you want to go. And if you are non-dairy, feel free to substitute with your own non-dairy option. Stir it in and you're going to let this simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And there you have it. Now you've made your own homemade cream of mushroom soup that you can eat on its own or use with your homemade green bean casserole holiday meal. <laughs>